Hey GCC, happy Friday. Hopefully uh, you're warm, you're safe. I know it's cold out there. Uh, we're coming towards the end of January. I'm excited about that because that means we are one month closer to the beginning of spring. Uh, so that's at least something to look forward to. Um, I wanted to just read something to you. Uh, it comes from John chapter 17. Uh, John 17, Jesus is praying. He's praying for his disciples uh, as he is preparing for the cross. And uh, we get towards uh, the end of John 17, verse 20. Here's what Jesus says. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. So, so he's praying for, for us, for all those who are going to believe in what he has trained his, the 12 disciples to do, to say. And he says, I pray that they will be, all be one, just as you and I are one. So he's praying for us, that, there might be, that we might be unified. Uh, that we might be uh, one. And he says, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And, and may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. He says, the church being unified, uh, my followers being unified, uh, are one of the greatest examples, uh, one of the greatest lights, uh, so that people might see me. And uh, man, we live in, in tumultuous times right now. And I think that's why we're going through this uh, uh, It's Complicated series. Because the goal is healthy relationships. Uh, because the health of our relationships ultimately helps people see Jesus in us. When, when people see Jesus, uh, when people see Christians, uh, who are people who claim to be Christians, and they're filled with gossip and bitterness and judgmentalism, and anger, well, what do you think that says? Uh, people say, I want nothing to do with Jesus because if that's what a Jesus follower is, and I want nothing to do with it. So right here, Jesus says, man, I pray that they might be unified. I pray that there might be health uh, in the midst of their relationships uh, because that is the greatest uh, uh, signal that I'm in the midst, that, I, that they are really following me. And so we do things like the It's Complicated series, and uh, we're going to be in... Uh, talking about reliance this week. And so I want you to do a couple things. Uh, you know, maybe you're in the midst of a, of a struggle in your relationships um, and you're kind of working some things out or maybe you feel like you've hit rock bottom. Well, would you do something for me? Read the Bible regularly because I believe that a healthy relationship with God will lead you to healthy relationships with others. Uh, so God's going to help work in here and then he'll help you, give you the tools to work outside, right? So a healthy relationship with God uh, will lead you to a healthy re relationship with others. So, so read the Bible regularly. And that's a challenge for all of us. Read the Bible regularly. I think the next thing would be get involved in community. Uh, we are starting Rooted here in a few weeks again. And we want you to get involved. Uh, be around other believers uh, and, and work on... Be involved in community where you can work on yourself in the midst of community. And the third thing is this. If you need to, go see a counselor. Uh, because another set of eyes on our issue that sometimes we get so tunnel focused, we don't see uh, what we don't see. And so we need an outside pair of eyes to help us see what really might be there and help us give us wisdom. And I've gone to see a counselor before and, and it's been... Uh, very beneficial, and I'm sure that it will happen again um, to have another set of eyes, outside eyes looking in. So read the Bible regularly, get involved in community, jo join a rooted group here in the next few weeks, and then go see a counselor if you need to. Um, and uh, uh, that that way you'll be on the path to having healthy relationships. And and, and what Jesus says uh, will be true. Um, people see us unified; they're ultimately going to see Jesus. All right. Happy Friday, and we'll see you soon.